What is route optimization? Often people ask me, how can they set up route optimization inside of their business? Now, if you're just delivering five parcels like this, it's really, really simple. The driver will pick up these five parcels and figure out the most efficient route. And they can probably do that by using Google Maps. But if you're delivering thousands of parcels or hundreds of parcels and you've got a lot of drivers, then this becomes a lot more complicated problem. So route optimization can help you solve that problem. It's gonna take into account all of the parcels that you need to deliver and then all of the variables that you might have. So how many drivers do you have? What is the, the size of their particular vehicle? What are the time windows that those parcels need to be delivered in? You take all these little pieces of the puzzle, put it in into a system that allow you to actually figure out what is the most efficient route. Often what actually happens throughout that process is the, the algorithm actually will run and then it will present to you and show you this is the best route for these particular drivers. It'll order the, the orders in the most efficient route for those drivers to actually complete them. The benefit of doing this is it means it makes it really easy for the driver. As the driver turns up to the warehouse, scans those parcels on board, it'll tell them this is the order in which you actually need to complete these deliveries. This allows them to sort the parcels into their vehicle efficiently, but most importantly what route optimization allows you to do is it allows you to actually tell your customer when you're actually arriving. By telling your customer when you're arriving, this gives them a great experience. They have the live tracking map, which shows them the live ETA. It's a great experience. But also from a driver's point of view, this makes things much, much easier from the driver's side of things. So that gives you a bit of an overview on the different ways in which route optimization and can work inside of a business. Now what I'm going to do is take you through a live demonstration and show you exactly how this can actually operate inside of your business. Um, what you're looking at here right now is a version of locate to you um, and you can see a list of all of your deliveries to be done on a particular day. Now, the thing that you want to be figuring out is, is how do you go about allocation? How do you go about route optimization in this instance? Now, if you're using something like locate to you you're going to be able to go do it in a couple of different ways. The first way you can actually do is go through optimization. Now, this is when you're taking all of your deliveries for a particular day and actually going through the whole route optimization process. This is where you're not really using zones or breaking it up into individual routes um, where drivers are doing particular areas. This is where the system's actually going to do that work for you. Now in this particular example here, I've got a start location here. Um, I'm gonna set the date for tomorrow. I'm giving it the system a time window to say, okay, this is when the delivery is gonna take place between this time window and this time window. Um, in this instance here, I haven't actually set an end location. Now what could be quite useful is, that, and more than likely in most businesses, what you wanna do is you wanna say, the drivers are either returning back to the start location or they're gonna to return to the driver's actual home location. Um, and so you can just be able to select that and choose which way you're gonna be able to do that. Um, I might set this here to say, return to the start location. The other option you do have is the ability to set up some skill matching. Now you might have certain drivers that can only do certain types of bookings. Skill matching is perfect for that. The other thing that often companies are looking to be able to do is that they're able to say, for this type of delivery, it needs to be, be delivered inside of this particular time window. And that's also gonna be really useful for your planning as well. So next off, what I'm gonna see here is I'm gonna see a preview on all of the bookings that are available in the system. Um, this is for the this is for the system to be able to then do all the route optimization for all of these deliveries. What you might want to consider doing is you might want to be able to say, okay, well, I'm only going to just do the route optimization just for this particular area. And you can circle this area inside of the system there very easily. Um, but for this example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the route optimization for all of them. As I zoom in, it actually shows me all the individual bookings as the blue dots there. And zoom out. Next, I'm going to go, okay, these are all the available drivers. Now, what you can do is you can say, let's just allocate it to all these drivers and I can minimize the number of team members required or I could spread the workload evenly um, or I could assign them based on particular routing rules um, that are there. But I'm just going to do next. Um, now, what the system's now going to be doing is it's going to run the route optimization process. Now, what it will do is it will actually present you with the routes really, really quickly. And so you can see that's a, appeared in a couple of seconds. Now, what the system will actually start to do is actually try and optimize them further than what you can see right now. Um, in this instance here, we've, we've optimized 98 routes. I can click on any one of these and you can actually see those routes forming. Now, you give the system a little bit of time to actually run and this is why it's really important to figure out what works for your business. Now, if you're a business where you get your data, say the night before, and you say maybe you get a cutoff at 7 p.m. at night, you can actually run your route optimization the night before before your drivers turn up at 6 a.m. in the morning. Um, and then that's gonna work perfectly. But if you're getting a cutoff you know, much later into the night or even earlier into the following morning, then you might wanna consider how best you're gonna be doing the route planning and whether you're actually gonna go through this process. Because this process will take you, you know, it might take you five, 10 minutes. It will require a, an allocator to think about what they're actually doing. And then you're gonna need to be 
able to go and do your sortation. From here, the sortation will occur where you're gonna have an app on your phone um, which will be able to connect to the locator to your system and you'll be able to scan those parcels and it will tell you which particular route this particular delivery belongs to and the order that it's actually gonna do be delivered in. And so this is parcel number five of your 50 parcels to be delivered. Okay, and so you need to have time to be able to do that sortation. If you're dealing with large amounts of volume, you know, well over a thousand, then that's gonna be more difficult to do. I'll walk you through what we'll do in that instance. Um, okay, so you can see here the routes are being built. Um, those routes are looking pretty good. You can see there's a nice sort of loop. And in this instance, the driver's returning back. And you can see the same happening in this in instance here as well. Um, and so the system will continue to optimize and you'll see this route changing um, occurring down the bottom here, but that looks like it's looking pretty good. It's going out and coming back in. And so you'll probably see some changes there, but let's just say you're really happy with that um, and you're comfortable with what was looking there. Uh, and if you wanted to, you could actually download this into Excel, but I can just click on the create of the five trips. Now, when you create the five trips, what that will automatically do is allocate it to the drivers. The drivers will see it on their mobile device and they can go off and start doing their deliveries. Now, in the instance where you have a larger amount of volume, what you want to think about is building out different zones inside of the map, okay? And this is where you can go down to our settings, you go down to configuration, and you've actually got our, um, our service area uh, set up here. You can actually draw on the map here and you can say, okay, these are the different zones that you're going to have. Um, you can make as many of these as you like and you just click on the plus option and you can call this here a zone and as parcels actually come in, you give this a name. Let's just call it zone one, for example. Um, and what you can do is you can say, all the parcels that are in this area are gonna be belong to this particular zone. You do that manual sort. And so your individual sorters will know these are suburbs, these are the zip codes that they're actually doing that sortation for. And when they do that, then the driver can turn up and actually take their mobile device using the Locate2 app and they can actually scan that particular parcel. When they scan that parcel, it will automatically onboard to that particular driver. And when you go to your trip screen, you'll actually start seeing the trips actually being built. The system will automatically start ordering these particular individual deliveries into the most efficient route for that particular driver. And this is a really great way for this driver because now you're taking a driver who might know that particular area that they're actually delivering in, um, but now it's gonna give them the, the most optimal route. And that's the most important thing is getting that optimal route to that driver. And so whether you're doing that for all of your deliveries or doing that at an individual driver level, both of those are really important. So from a driver's point of view, it's really straightforward. You'll go into the Locate2 app here and you'll be able to click on the barcode scanning and you'll be able to scan each of those barcodes. As they scan those barcodes, it will onboard them. Once they're finished onboarding, then you'll actually be able to click on the, the optimized route. Um, and that's gonna then allow them to actually go back to their list view. They will see a list of all of their bookings in the most efficient order there. Um, as you go through here, and as I go through, and I'll just type in a few addresses here. Um, and so this is the similar sort of concept. I'm adding in a, a number of addresses. Uh, I'm just gonna save them. And these are individual bookings to be completed. Um, and, all right. And now what the system will actually automatically do is it starts building the, the actual routes. And so you can click through here and you can see the routes have been built. It's saying starting in this location. Um, now we've got to go here here, here, and here. And so the system has, has built that route for that particular um, that particular driver. And you can see on your side here, um, on the trip view, you can see exactly what's happening here as well. And so this means from a customer point of view, they're gonna have the ETA that's, that's when that parcel is actually gonna be delivered. Um, you're gonna be able to see exactly what's happening and you're gonna be able to know how that driver's gonna be traveling throughout the day. Now, the thing I mentioned earlier was around in here, you may have some bookings that do require you to, to be delivered a certain time window. That's just a matter of just entering in the time window here. And so you can say whether it's morning, afternoon, or whether you actually enter in a custom time window for that particular booking. So route optimization is designed to save you a lot of time, it's able to save you money, but it's also designed to actually improve your customer experience. So if this sort of sparks your interest and you think this makes sense for your business, or you have any questions around how route optimization can work for your business, feel free to reach out to me. You can shoot me an email at steve at locate2.com.